And that's how you can take two and a half years to drink a bottle of water. <laughs> that is great. Good, good to hear from you, Max. Good to hear from you. Great yeah. story. Um, welcome to the He's podcast. Got the good... What was what was that? Didn't know we're using real names. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> I thought you said gazebo. <laughs> gazebo? No, 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 no. Gazebo! Bazinga. Bazinga. Gosh, if I had to edit out my name, that'd take a long time. Yep. Um, yeah. But if, if you really want that, I can edit it out. There'd just be a lot more work, and <laughs> you, then your name's probably already gone. True. It's probably already out there. For all the podcasts. Oh, if, if you wanted, you could definitely figure out who we all are. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be like, oh, that idiot. Yeah, I know him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that guy. He makes random sounds. But anyways, yeah, it's it's podcast. We're, we're doing a podcast. Uh, we've got a great topic. Max remembers it so so fondly. I remember it like it yeah. was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. just like yesterday. Um, yeah, but the the topic um, that we decided was so the weather. So the weather. So the weather out there. Uh, well, it rained here for like rained? six days straight. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you were having a flood or we're living in the Amazon. Well, we were having a drought until apparently like <laughs> this week. We're now in a droughty, floody it's mess. It's like been actually Ooh. like categorically a drought for like the past two and a half years <laughs> yeah <laughs> and now it rained for all like i think like a week straight there wasn't a day where it didn't rain goodness trying to catch up yeah it's just yeah it has to do all of it at once that's how it was for winter for us we had like barely any snowfall the entire winter month and then the moment spring came around, it started raining constantly. Every other day, it downpoured pretty hard. Yeah. The clouds are late this season. Uh, they're just trying to push back the, uh, what was it, summer, winter? It's trying to push back winter and have longer summer. And I, uh, I'm not for that. I'm all for a longer, longer winter with torrential snow to keep me indoors and true it's, I, yeah, it's so true having a good reason not to go outside good reason not to drive oh, i can't get to I work guess oh. that's fair. <laughs> can't get to work i guess i guess i'll just have to call oh. in sick or just work from yeah. home it'll be like that the first time we went over to gavin's house to record oh my gosh what a disaster it, and we had like a blizzard on our last day there, so we got to stay <laughs> even longer. We had to stay with Gavin a whole day longer. Oh, and what a disaster think, that was! Well, I think it it gave us enough time to finish it New did. Super Mario Bros. Wii. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was expecting Wonder to take as long, if not longer, but no, it, it was it, it was faster. Like if we went back for every purple coin, it might have been. But uh, I think we did everything we needed to. Yeah. Max, you, you played Super Mario Wonder and uh, Super uh, Mario Wii, right? You're you're a big fan all of the, the time. Mario. I was just Nintendoing it up. And I was <laughs> Nintendoing everywhere, all over my desk. And... <laughs> well, there I was, Nintendoing, and then, blam, Nintendo. It's Nintendoing time. <laughs> He was he was Nintendoing until Helldivers Two came along. Yeah. Wait, there's a second one, or has it always been two? It's always well, been. The second two. one came out this year. That's what I've been doing for let's see. Yeah. The past 112 hours. <laughs> 112. That's wait the this specifically the past 112 hours. That's that's only like. No, that, since it, it came out, I've got 112 hours. Oh. Now. Well, I haven't. Had it since it came out, but I eventually got it. Since since you've gotten it, and you got it after it came out, since it came out works. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. When I got it, uh, what was it? When was this? Doesn't say. I got it April first. Wow. Crazy. Like less than two months. 
Two months? What? So like, what are you talking about two months? Oh yeah, I guess that is two months. I'm just <laughs> so I'm just looking at the clock. I'm like two months. It's like it's it it's doesn't cool. sound right at all. It's, it's been ten years. <laughs> so uh, April first. It means so literally long nothing to you guys, and you don't know, but there's a damn box of electronics that I need, uh -huh. and it has a bunch of breadboard cables and motor driver controllers and like a bunch of other electronics in it. I can't find it. <laughs> oh. I, oh. I did, and I know I'm definitely missing it now because I was looking last night for these motor drivers and I found these different ones that I didn't know I had. I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll try these for this project. Yeah, that'll on. work. That'll work. And I was like, okay, well, I still need my breadboard wires to test everything and plug it all in. And I can't find those either. And I know I have them because I bought a pack of like miniature short ones and I don't know where they are. I can't find them. So I misplay shit all the time. I understand. The... Is, is this a rare Quandry. update on the electrical chair or the motorized chair? <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, <laughs> I did end up making an electric bike. I don't remember if I told you guys that. <laughs> no, I, I don't know, recall. I, I finished an electric bike and it was special because I, I didn't want the electronics getting stolen because it was like three hundred dollars worth of electronics oh, wow. in it. And then um, it got stolen. No, I thought of that. <laughs> the whole um, there was. I still have the bike and all the electronics that took apart to harvest for other things. But the bike, I can probably send a picture of. I still have. Um, it's a bunch of three D printed, like just garbage all over it. <laughs> that allowed me to take this big, like uh, it's a Tupperware that had a bunch of batteries and stuff in it, and a motor sticking out of it. And I could bolt it on by sliding in one bolt onto the bike. And then power myself around on the bike. So for the last year and a half of college, I commuted to classes and to work exclusively on my homemade electric bike. I that's see. That's how I you see. do it. Huh? That, that's how you do it. Yep. Is, yep. is the electric bike better than the regular bike? Yeah. Oh, I could. It went about 18 miles an hour. Oh, jeez. Uh, so I, it, when the wind was at my back, oh man, I'd be cruising. <laughs> uh, I need, I need me one of those bikes. That, so, and yeah. it was like, I, if I made it better, it could have probably uh, gone a little faster. Add and some wings onto that, make powerful. it like uh, a plane, start yep. flying through the sky. Well, you can get drones now that are. We've got drone tech now that's powerful enough to lift people. Oh, oh. it has like one two i think it has one two three four five six this is gonna be like, like amazon 12 blades amazon delivery coming to drop off a package and then accidentally pick somebody up and just transports them, them back takes them to jeff no, bezos no. house personally no that's what they that's what they do when you need to sign a package they they just carry <laughs> a package with the guy who you need to sign Oh, the guy floats down on like a harness. Sign here, please. And then he <laughs> just gets yeah. back into the air. Oh yeah. boy, that's genius. I see why so, yeah, they make that technology. Didn't happen, but electric bike did. Yeah, so just saying electric chair, I think, has kind of bad connotation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but <laughs> <Chair? Right? Apologies. laughs> nah. I'm still considering kind of making that because then at work I wouldn't have to get out of my chair. <laughs> I could just. <laughs> The ticket would come in to fix something. I'd be like, oh, got to go to the printer room. Wait, and I just drive over. We're going to have to Are change from electric chair to motorized chair. That I think you'll Are have you better funding chair? if you say motorized. What? What I, what I want to know is when are you making uh, motorized shoes? Just I did try it. That was actually the first. Because I originally, <laughs> I, I think you guys were maybe aware of the electric skateboard project. Yes, the skateboard. Oh, which... which that did technically work. I oh my did gosh. ride it like a few <laughs> hours, but it just it just was no good. But predating that, the first year I had my three actually the first couple of months I had my three D printer. I didn't understand the limits or the anything about <laughs> motor or any of that. So my I was gonna make powered roller skates using drone motors. Oh goodness gracious! And well, not even drone motors. I think it was just RC like brushed RC car <laughs> motors that I happen to have. Um, that project ended very quickly when I realized <laughs> the motors were not nearly powerful enough. It plus, do you really want like a motorized 
like shoe like like I feel like you could have a lot of issues if you just strap that onto your leg and like Luckily, well let's go. I never go. got very far with that project because if one <laughs> one shoe goes faster than the other, then once you <laughs> once you just start like once you lose balance and just fall down. I think the plan was to only power one shoe. What? Because then you then it's like kind of like Heelys where you've got one foot behind the other for stability. Oh, oh my god! And you just have like the rear driving foot and then the front steering foot. The the non the non motorized <laughs> shoe could be a brake. Yep, there you go. Oh. Brake system. Just stomp it real hard on the ground yeah. and lift your other foot in the air. Problem solved. That's the, Unsurprisingly, that's the that enough idea force just far. slams you to the ground because you're trying to raise it to the trying to raise the motorized foot. I'm just imagining yeah. just a rocket shoe, basically. You, you um, know the biggest problem with all of those and the reason I had to keep changing my plans. <laughs> Uh, is because physics? all of the sidewalks and roads on campus were so bad and full of holes <laughs> that I kept falling off the skateboard because I'd hit a giant ass pothole and the whole skateboard would just fall into it and break the wheels and I'd fly off the front. <laughs> I was like, bruh, I like I couldn't really like my feet hurt. It was like so bound like hard, like it was yeah. awful. Yeah, so the next step is gonna be motorized uh snowboard. <laughs> this becomes like Soon a helicopter get, like, a motorized cart it'll be really big and maybe i'll like enclose it even motorized imagine, paraglider imagine going to walmart with your fancy motorized cart wait they, they already have those never mind <laughs> <laughs> Not well, yours, yet. well yours would be personalized to you so you don't have to be fat to use it oh, that's true that's true just imagine like you trying to though. go through an airport with these type of shoes. Uh, oh, you should have seen. I still have the remains of it. Um, <laughs> the the bomb, mangled corpse. That. The fact that like campus security never stopped me and like, what are you doing there? I'm surprised. Hey, buddy, I, I see you've got some type of rocket propelled <laughs> proposal. There's a lot of wires coming out of that box <laughs> that you're hauling around the class. And it looks really heavy. Do you mind telling me what that's all about? But they're sh it's, it's shoes. Shoes. A teacher one time asked me if it was a bomb. Oh. I was like, is it a bomb? I was like, no. It's a motor. <laughs> it's a motor. I'm just not very good Could with wires. Could be a bomb if I punctured the batteries, but I didn't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> it could it could just, be a bomb if the... Yeah, if it went to blow it up, but you wouldn't be able to be put out the It could be a bomb if fire. the nuclear fusion <laughs> backfired, but it didn't. So yeah, you know, good. you know, you got to have a self-destruct button. The first right. the skateboard, by the way, that almost worked was also powered by a bunch of um, like 2012 laptop battery cells that I ripped <laughs> out of a bunch of laptop batteries that I got from work. <laughs> and that's when I discovered that not all battery cells are created equal. And these were designed <laughs> for capacity and not for power output. Gosh. So the biggest upgrade was just buying actual like purpose made high output batteries those put me back you, like two bucks you'd buy you'd Goodness. buy those uh those like big small you'd buy those like small motorcycle toys like when you were a kid that you could ride on and they had these big oh, yeah. fucking batteries in them you used that i was basically using the <laughs> miniature version of that for computer yeah it was bad i'm amazed that thing even worked <laughs> much as it did you know i keep i keep reminding myself of the grand story you told me about your i don't know if it was your first dealings with like exposed electronics or or something similar to that but oh, you just telling with the mixer um was it the mixer i i think it was my first time shocking myself yeah 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 just just hearing these stories and wires everywhere, it just always reminds me of that great story of you just like, oh, it'll be easier if I take away the plastic I can see coating. the gears move if I just go and <laughs> poke it together, the contacts, with my finger, my bare finger. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing could go bad. <laughs> this will be just like the time I got my toe cell with a fork. <laughs> Uh, well, how was I supposed I, to I get the I never told toaster? my grandparents about that. <laughs> oh, no. My grandpa told me. If, what if they like, listen you know, to the, the podcast? Main, yeah, the main rule was that if I took something apart, I couldn't have it plugged into the wall. <laughs> of course, I didn't have to spend I was like, oh, I guess it must be dangerous. I don't know. It's dangerous. 
Cappy used to say. Son, now, if you if you start taking things apart, make sure your you heart have will it. explode. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> your heart will explode? Yeah, I mean, it's probably not good if I repeatedly electrocuted. Oh, oh, wall, yeah, yeah. I imagine my heart right. would probably explode or something. Eventually, probably. I don't know. I will say I have shocked myself as well with like one of those big, like, two twelve volt or whatever outlets, like big boy outlets. Oh, those! I I was unplugging a welder one time and I was really tired at school, and I just kind of wrapped my fingers around it when it wasn't really unplugged all the way, and I touched the contacts and whoof, that thing, (laughs) that thing goes. Oh my! I was I tasted batteries for like two days or something. I could smell burnt toast for the rest of uh, rest of the week. Yeah, it was rough. Goodness. So, so, so remind me, you you got a degree in is it engineering or computer engineering? Nope, it's neither of those because I discovered oh. I'm really bad at math. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> it's called I couldn't do calc two. <laughs> oh, no, calc two. I, I was so. That's like the closest I've ever been to an actual mental breakdown. Is <laughs> I spent all morning in lecture. Uh-huh. I then spent like an hour re- going back over the recording because this was during still during COVID school. Yeah. And then I went to work, but there wasn't much to do at work because everyone was working from home. So I just sat in the office Rewatching all of the lecture things and going over the notes <laughs> oh, and then trying to do the homework. And then I got back to my room and continued trying to do the Calc 2 homework. And I was like, okay, I think I finally got it. Let's see what happens when I try to do problem one. And I got problem one completely entirely wrong. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, and I was like, yep, no. I'm done. At that point, I stopped going to class and I stopped trying <laughs> and then I eventually dropped out of the class. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Damn. So oh, computer engineering didn't work out. How are your game dev uh, adventures going? The blender? Uh, I did partake in a game jam recently oh. this year. I didn't win anything, but I oh, did technically what, what make was a, game. a game. What was the game jam for? Uh, I was a YouTuber, Ace Rolla. Okay. I uh, can't remember. It was a, a Rhythmorations was the theme. I don't even know what that We're is. Start. Aberration was the theme. Oh, Arith- Arithmorations oh. was my game. I was gonna say okay. I have I have no clue the first one you just said. Arithmorations yeah. is that where you put yes. arithmetic and aberrations together? Yeah, it was a math based shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Which is ironic since I failed <laughs> math <laughs> multiple times. Oh, uh, you would not Remind be the first. Me. Reminds me of those times I failed math in high school. Oh, gosh. I I still remember one of my Calc 3 exams. The average score was 46%. And somebody's like, I only got 4%. And that's because I put my name on it. (laughs) (laughs) So, you know, a lot of people dropped that class after that exam. Did you drop it too? No, no. I, I needed to pass it. Yeah, you math have, major. Got, like, what eighty percent in it? Uh, yeah. Basically, calc Jeez. three is calc one, but in three dimensions. I hate it. I forgot a lot of integration techniques because you know we have calculators that do that. Yeah, calc and then one. those calculators were banned. Yeah, calculators are banned because you know you you won't have a calculator always sitting by your side. Am I right? <laughs> oh, I, I think... did. I'll oh, go for it. I failed Calc 1 once, and then I retook it during the summer, but I was doing Calc 1 right when COVID started. I believe the first mm. final, the average was, I think, 32%. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I got like 20% on it, and it was curved up to a 60. Yeah. <laughs> oh, COVID. Yeah. COVID's, an, COVID's another reason why I'm glad I didn't go to college because oh, I know because I know a for a fact that I can't trust myself to sit the fuck down during a Zoom call. Oh, what do you think I did for a bunch of my classes? You told us what you did. All you did was do Blender the whole time while <laughs> yeah, the class yeah. was going on in the background. We have evidence of, of your testimony. 
<laughs> this podcast. I was, near, I was damn near on the podcast during class. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> hey guys, did I ever uh, tell you guys about the class that I completed the week before school got out? No. <laughs> oh boy! Like just start, like you fully complete, like started yeah, well, and then well, I'll, finished. I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. So this was the the last year before school was fully back in person. Mm. So it was like kind of in person, kind of not, and it was this really easy right. class. Actually, it was part of my major, so I probably should have cared a little bit more. But, <laughs> oh um, my gosh! It, it was uh, cartography. Oh, cartography, okay. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. And so I went there, and the teacher's like, okay, so here's the policy on schoolwork. Um, <laughs> if you submit something late, it doesn't matter how late it is, as long as it gets submitted by the end of the school year. Oh, wow. But it'll take a 10% hit. On its grade, just only ten percent. Only ten percent, a flat ten percent rate. If it's a month late or three minutes wow. late, ten percent hit. Wow. And uh, attendance was not mandatory. <laughs> oh gosh! And then I was like, okay, <laughs> this okay. professor is gonna hate you. Jeez. <laughs> and this was like a, a nine or like it was like a ten a.m. class. Yeah, too and early. I was, yeah. I was a sleepy guy in college, you see. <laughs> Anything before noon, that's pretty early for me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, well, uh, you know, I went to class the first maybe week. And then I was well, like, there you oh, go. well, I mean, you know, if it's. You basically you know, did the class, right? You know, and she and like, yeah, and like the notes were all online, very nicely done. The exams, you get to take the exam like as many times as you wanted. Like it was like, <laughs> wow. Free. I was like, whoa, okay. This is an easy class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, that's cool. I'll do, I was, and it started out, you know, I was like, oh, you know, I'm day behind. I was like, I'll do the homework later. And then I was like, oh, you know, I'm really busy. And you're like, oh, I'll do the homework later. And it's only 10%. Like, you know, if I get 90, it was, it was super, the thing is, it was super easy. Like, I would ace all of this. So I was mm -hmm. like, oh, you know, if I only get 90%, who cares? Like, whatever. <laughs> um, and that kind of progressed a little bit. And it continued progressing. And it got to the point where I kind of forgot that I even was in the class. <laughs> <laughs> like one, day, one day I remember waking up and I was like, don't I like, I was like, dang, like, am I in another class? Like, is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? Just after, you know, a month or something like that. I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm in another class. <laughs> and, you know, I went and looked and I was like, oh, yeah, you know, homework assignments have been posted, like projects have been happening, like labs have been happening. I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> um and i just kept going and not doing anything and it comes to time where teacher sends out an email and says hey guys you know finals week's coming up you know make you make sure all your stuff is in before the end of the year and i was like oh yeah i gotta do all that stuff <laughs> um, and i was like oh well you know finals is coming up it's fine i'll do it later <laughs> <laughs> and oh no, that's what it was. You had you had to get in everything before finals. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what it was. And I was like, oh, you know, I still have like two three weeks i had plenty so I of kept, time you know i kept putting it off i put it off <laughs> oh, until no. i started the week two module i believe <laughs> four days before final start. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and, and i did the entire semester's work i pulled two all-nighters in a row crazy <laughs> and i did the entire course in three days Oh, that's all you needed for that class, right? And I submitted everything. And the best part is, I don't know if she just like didn't care or for some unknown reason she decided to take pity on me. She didn't <laughs> even do the 10% discount. What? So you I got, got like max I, percent? I think on my transcript, I have like a 92% in that class. Hey. Maybe, and, I, and I did all she, of the class in three days. Maybe she respected the hustle. Yeah, like uh, all the projects, like I was cranking out final projects, and <laughs> oh and par part of the gosh. reason that I went did so like procrastinated is the way I did my major kind of got screwed up. So this was like an entry level like oh, geography yeah? class where you're like using all these softwares, and like the labs would have like step by step pictures for like using the software. But I was already like two years in <laughs> oh. to geography at that point. So I don't and I'd already taken like advanced five thousand level courses that used the software. 5, so this was this levels. was like this was like baby. <laughs> this was a, I think this was like a two, one or two thousand level course. An intro course. And so yeah. 
part of it was that it was these applicate like these assignments to use these apps and it was so easy i didn't even really need to use the lab manual like i was like oh i just i just know how to do this like it's fine just that but it wasn't even that hard because like the final project was making a map and it's like okay i made like five of these for the advanced class like, so many like the final project took me like an hour and i aced it pretty much so that that was part of it which is that i just <laughs> genuinely kind of knew how to do all of the things the class was telling me and I kind of could tell that, but still, it was a lot of work that I put off for quite a long time. So that that's my greatest procrastination story of all time, and I doubt I'll ever beat it. <laughs> that's incredible. That is like, pretty great. <laughs> I, I remember doing laundry. I was like, ah, I was looking at my phone. I was like, okay, I got, I got 19 hours until the finals start. I've got 19 hours, and I was like, I have this project, this project, and these two <laughs> homework assignments to do. And of course, I was also doing other homework for other classes. But yeah. I had to make sure to prioritize the class that I didn't do anything for. <laughs> so when I got them all done, baby. Proper procrastination nice. there. That is, that is, that is proper procrastination. <laughs> and I don't know what told me. I was like, I, I got to start, and I started. Just go start, man. I, th I think I have enough time still to finish it all. Mm -hmm. I'd be playing video games. I'm like, oh, I got time. It was literally the Mister Incredible. Like, yeah, I got time. I got time. Like, I'd be playing GTA, and I was like. I mean, I'll, yeah, I got time. It's only the whole class. Like, come on. The class can't be that challenging. <laughs> so oh, much later my. on, we're a little challenging, but we made it. So, so if I gleamed correctly, are or is your is your is your degree in geography or like a, a specific geography? It's GIS. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. So. I think computer geography essentially yeah i think jared also did gis he's a geologist oh yeah and i'm in it, it <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he, i think he had a gis course i don't think he, I don't know mm. if he specialized yeah for i had to take like even if i hadn't been in gis you have to kind of at least on where i went to college um you kind of you had to take a little bit from each there was three like section subsections of geography uh -huh. so if he was doing like a geography not gis but just like a geography major he probably would have had but, a GIS course i say course. geography i said i thought he's doing a geology Ge geology, geology. Okay, and that, that's one of the that that would be considered at least in my <laughs> school that would have been considered um earth geography earth geography also known as geology like the the generic terms they it was yeah. like computer geography human geography and uh <laughs> earth, that's like earth geography. that's like that's like calling those are some great names for that, those that's like that's like calling physics physics science arithmetic those weren't the official names but that's kind of what the <laughs> counselors and everyone like referred to them as because you had to take classes from each of so like, oh, you know, you need some, sections. some earth geography classes. And that's what they'd say. So my guess is if he did that, he it's probably similar where he There's... would have had to take some human geography and then also some computer geography as well to round it out. Economics, yeah, yeah, yeah. get real. That's only... Uh, Economics isn't real? What that... are you talking about? <laughs> Economics... He's saying the is, real name. Is, Economics is simply uh, money mathematics. Yeah, money Idiot. mathematics. Come on, it's not. I don't. <laughs> economics. I don't know why I had. I, I don't know why I had so much trouble remembering <laughs> the word money. That thing we Ec like buy stuff with it, and uh, uh, it's like really important or something. Yeah, uh, it's the thing that the economy runs on. Uh, it's yeah. green. I don't have any of it. It's the stuff I need so my bank account isn't red anymore. Uh, yeah. You'd be colorblind. That could help. My, my boss gives it to me every week. Yeah, yeah. Every week. Colorblindness. Nice. No, no, I get mine like twice a month. Yep, yeah, every other week. week. I think that's I think that's the standard. My old job did it weekly. You should pay me every day. <laughs> every day. I did yep. my work. Give me my money. Well, I'm not doing any more work, so I get paid. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a good way to 
There's a lot of yeah. malicious compliance stories like that where bosses just decide it's a good idea to not pay their workers. So their workers just mass quit on the spot. Yeah, yeah, that would do it. If you're not going to pay, people aren't going to work. Yeah. I see videos of that where it's like some person is like refuses to pay like a contractor who like tiled their bathroom. And it's like, why? <laughs> what? Well, he did the work already. Is like, what do you think he's just gonna be like? Oh shoot, you got right me. Back. He didn't know he just needed to. He didn't know he needed to pay. That wasn't that wasn't set up front. It's like I, uh, just, I oh, don't feel like paying. Why do I? Why do I need to pay? You already did the work. It's like it's saying, done. "Oh man, yeah. I'm dying and need surgery." So then the surgeon does your surgery and you survive, and they're like, "Yeah, it'll be twenty thousand dollars." You're like, "But you already did it, man." I'm not dying anymore. I'm not dying, so why does it cost that much? I don't need to pay you. I'm fine. Hey, you all, you already replaced my spleen. Yep, and then that's when they what reach into their you? pocket, pull out the the button, and press the button, and then your heart just explodes. <laughs> that's how they get you. Oh yeah, we replaced your spleen, but we also replaced your heart with a potato. Yeah, that's called collateral. We do this because this isn't. You're not the only person who tried this trick, my friend. We <laughs> fell victim to this approximately 99 times, and we're not about to let it be 100. We can't hit the triple digits. Potato go! <laughs> so, in the background, we can hear Max searching through his boxes to hopefully no, find that breadboard. Me. <laughs> what do you mean it's not you? It's, yeah, it's probably Gavin. It's, oh, yeah, it's definitely Gavin. Ah, oh, man, Gavin, you're being way too loud in the background. You gotta, you gotta stop sh doing Jenga with boxes. So the other day, I opened up DoorDash, and I saw that Culver's is now available on DoorDash, which made me wow. happy. But I also saw that Wendy's is there, and I'm Snap. like, wait. Do we have a Wendy's now? Yeah, yeah. Wendy's popped in uh, a few weeks ago, I'd say. Maybe a month ago, four yeah. weeks. It had to have been for a reason because I've, I've basically quit DoorDash for like a month because it is an expensive habit. But yeah, the fees, man. DoorDash is insane. But yeah, so once I saw that, I ordered some Wendy's right away because I've never had Wendy's before in my life. Mm. So I ordered like the, I ordered the Dave <laughs> burger with fries and a frosty, and then they didn't have. And the guy, the DoorDash guy who had my order, he came. He's like, so they were out of frosties, and I couldn't reach you on DoorDash. I'm like, all right, you still couldn't get me a, any other drink. You, you just gave me no drink for the combo meal I paid for. Wait, so they just, like, they just told you, like, oh, sorry, I guess you don't get your food? Like, what? <laughs> what? Sorry, yeah, we I, ran out of food. We, st we kept the body, but... <laughs> I paid for a combo meal, expecting a burger, a fries, and a drink, and I only got two of those three things, because they were out of Frosties, and the guy couldn't reach me, so I was like, he'll probably be fine without a drink. He doesn't, like, he doesn't actually want it, right? This was just just a I, fun I was, thing. He doesn't need the, the drink. I mean, and to be fair, I wasn't like mad or insulted. I was just baffled. But no, yeah, no it, you didn't get no, a refund or nowhere, anything, right? Nah, I, I figured no. Nah, it's just a drink. I, whatever. It's I can I can I can deal with the loss. I've had yeah way I've had way worse uh, experiences. This is fine. That's fair. Yeah. yeah good news. There ways. It was some good. of the things I'm looking It was good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had went I had went to Wendy's uh when it, like the second week it was opened and it was still packed, so I left and went to Culver's. Oh I found the yeah. motor drivers, yes. Oh, oh my baby. gosh. And Culver's is better around. than Wendy's. Oh man, Culver's is better than Wendy's? Yeah. And I don't, I don't know if I've actually had Wendy's or not, um, but I have had Culver's a lot more recently. 
I like Wendy's more than Burger King and McDonald's, but I like oh wow either of those. That's crazy. I'm a big Burger King fan, and I've recently learned the city I moved to does not have a Burger King. It has two McDonald's and no Burger King. <laughs> That's <laughs> My sad. City had two Burger Kings and they both closed. Damn. Most likely due to health violations. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! What are they doing at the Burger King? I don't know. One of them, and actually, the building is still for lease. It's been that way for three years. No one's leased it. And the other one closed down recently. Gosh. And now, ice cream truck is passing by. Holy oh, smokes! Oh man, and I don't you think you could have heard it, but it it, it plays an entertainer. The... Music. I don't know the last time I've even seen an ice cream truck. I was really confused one day because I just kept hearing like <laughs> I just kept hearing that. I'm like, what the heck is playing that? Is there is there some siren going on? Is this the end of the world? That, I look outside and, honest, and the... not the type, that is not the type of music I would have associated with an ice cream truck. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's a classic piano song oh, called do, 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 do. The entertainer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, I was so confused. And then I look outside, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the ice cream truck. Yeah. And then they were gone, next, so I couldn't get my next, ice cream. Next week, the ice cream truck's going to be playing. Like the ice cream truck, ice cream truck, uh, chime pod. Yeah. Gosh, just having that sing along kind of reminded me of of something I was going to do at the end of the podcast. Um, oh. Not, not, not like not specifically this podcast, but I was going to add like an ending theme and I'm like, Oh, we have a great ending theme. We've got the, the uh, roll credits from our project deli. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Where Max is like, uh, do, 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 like that. And then oh, I barely remember that. <laughs> And and occasional <laughs> music, 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 uh, uh, music, music. Uh, uh, it's over now. Do, 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 do. Oh now. yeah. <laughs> the camera just went straight into beat like some beatbox. I'm like, holy smokes! I don't think it was, I don't think it was even good beatboxing. <laughs> well, it was just, what sophomore just, year high school beatboxing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah I just I just weird. remember us like huddled around. The <laughs> <laughs> I still have the clip. I, I considered adding it to the end of the podcast uh, when I was doing some of the changes, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't think it really fits. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> it's over now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's the end. Uh, I just, oh. I mean, I wouldn't be offended. <laughs> that. Uh, it's a nice throwback that these people won't understand. A throwback. Here, if uh, I'll put it on specifically for this episode, and if if people really enjoy it that much, I'll put it back after. <laughs> I'll put it back on after uh, you know however many. Uh, well, actually, if in editing, it can, but I. Yeah. <laughs> what do you um, edit in? Uh, I use DaVinci Resolve because it's free. My man. Yeah, I need to get a new yeah, computer though, because I need Don't more tell me RAM. You're still. No, you built a new one, right? You're not using the one you had in high school. The and like 2009. I still need to. I still need to like um, unsubscribe uh, from Adobe. Oh uh, no, yes, I, I have gotten a new computer, uh, but I haven't gotten an upgrade since that new computer. So, Oof. so, so get the new one. Uh, that would be the December 2019. Ooh. I'm pretty sure. Damn, because that's that's when uh, that's when Cameron had that spare computer. Uh, yeah, it's it's great. My my user uh, username is is Cameron because I think. <laughs> 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 
it, it was it was Jack's dad who yeah was, Jack's dad he set it up. Thing up and then he registered both under my name I think yeah and, and I just <laughs> gave you whichever one was less good yeah yeah you gave me the the probably cheaper worst one but it's 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 been working I've I've enjoyed yeah. it it's it's taken me all the way through college I just couldn't figure oh, out man. how to how to change the user which is funny. <laughs> I mean, truth be told, I did most. I I like got a laptop, and I was like, okay, this is gonna be the laptop I use for college. Oh, laptop! It, like, I was like, eh, I don't really like using it, and it's so big and bulky. So I took the Chromebook that I bought. My oh, high school no. let me buy my Chromebook oh, when I graduated. So what? Like a twenty seventeen or something discontinued at this point Chromebook, and I bought it off the school for twenty five bucks. <laughs> and i did most of college on that thing because i just typed everything up in google docs and you know saved I, this PDF. and mm, it was chill. i i always forget chromebooks exist i Honestly, try to forget like, they're kind of goaded they're uh, they're they're not though but like, really for old not. people they're perfect for old like if you're just doing web stuff i i like, guess it's just like an old they're like uh, they're good if you just want to stick with if, a browser if you're if browser. you're old then it's great for you. And it worked pretty well. Cause <laughs> Riley, you can play. Play. That's not my neighbor on those things. Calm down. It's not my neighbor. True. Oh, gosh. That's the that's what we played. Yeah, that's yeah, right? the doppelganger game. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, me and Riley played that game at the same time, and we learned that I am apparently very goaded at it, and Riley sucks at it. <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> what? When did we learn this? I'm I, just saying. I I'm left the door open. Again. I left the door open once, and the first time, it's my uh, first time playing. I, I pressed the button. I'm like, uh, oh, I'll let the guy through, and then I didn't press it again, and then somebody in the party was like, every, do, 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 and walked every, straight through. How was I supposed to know to press time, it? Every first timer makes that mistake. And of course, that one was the doppelganger. I got everybody else but that one. <laughs> everybody else was was a okay, or I I I killed them correctly. But no, 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 no. Mister Freebie here got in free because some I, idiot left the door open. I'm just saying, I'm the one who cleared both the normal mode <laughs> and nightmare mode. You did it. I did. Either. I did decent on the nightmare mode. Yeah, you were doing better than me at the nightmare mode for a while because every first nightmare <laughs> guy, I apparently missed what was different. And they were all doppelgangers until like I got over that hurdle and then I just kicked ass the rest of the way. I kept missing the logo. Uh, the logo kept getting me. You know what we're talking about, Max? Well, see, to me, nightmare mode is just regular mode. Welcome to my <laughs> twisted world. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, I wake up every morning looking outside and see the sun screaming at me. Ah, uh, nightmare. <laughs> and then I start walking down the street in my motorized shoes and find out <laughs> that <I> every so. <laughs> I see everybody else is has like chicken legs and everyone and, else stares at me. They're clearly <laughs> jealous. And they stare at me with their three eyes and and robo laser beams and their flayed eyelids they disgust me and they're, they're non-motorized having shoes and they think i'm the weird one so is I'm that is inventor with <laughs> dreams. is That's that all. uh your recollection of uh, everyday everyday morning life for you max yeah, that's pretty, pretty damn accurate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. so, so Max, back when, uh, back when, like the Helldivers two devs were like, "Uh, you're gonna need a PSN account to play this now." <laughs> oh, how did you feel about that news? Uh, it made me a little frustrated because I got the game like. <laughs> Apparently it was like a thing when the game first came out. And then they're like, oh, it's not working, so we're delaying it. But I didn't yeah. get the game when it first came out. And it wasn't like made obvious or clear that that was going to be a requirement eventually. Mm -hmm. I didn't even really so I, you know, I don't know. I just got it. But when I heard they were doing that, I, I was like, yeah, my guess is people are going to get pissed off and they'll, they'll revert that. And so they I did. just... I just didn't do it. I was like, yeah, I just kept playing and ignored it. And sure enough, they ended up reverting because a bunch of people got pissed off. 
Did so, they go back on the reversion at some point, though? Uh, as far as I know, I don't think they have. All right. I, I must have misheard somewhere. I haven't heard any changes since the the reversion. I know my Speaking brother over... was upset about about the the PS account. Yeah. Speaking of reversions, the Unity thing. So a few tech stuff has happened since you were last in the podcast. We never got to hear your opinion. Oh on. yeah. Yeah. What what were your thoughts on the whole Unity debacle? How they wanted to oh, yeah. wanted you to pay them royalties like like the well, guy from Shark Tank, <laughs> Mr. Wonderful. The thing is that policy was proposed by the now former CEO who used to work for EA. Yeah. He was he was so greedy yeah. and over the top that, that EA could handle want. it and they got rid of him. <laughs> The guy was the guy was dead as like, I think they should pay money to reload their guns. That's literally like if Satan was like, ah, this dude's like kind of evil. Like, geez, man, tone it down. And if he really if he's really that greedy, you should just go into the like, was it college business? You can you can get you can steal a lot of money. College textbooks. Like, (laughs) (laughs) he's Uh... like, whoa, brother. Whoa, whoa. We love microtransactions, but that's going too far. We, you need to leave. You need to leave right now. It just reminds me of the, the Ready Player One movie scene where it's like, yeah, so we can fill up the screen with 80% ads before it starts causing like brain malfunctions. Or something similar to that. It's like, <laughs> goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty brutal. Did like, they, I don't know, do do these people like not have meetings? Like, is there no normal people that work at these companies? That's like, bro, do you, do you really think they use idea? their software? That's hysterical. Like, I'm not wrong. Like, someone woke up and they had to go to their job. Like, they uh, wake up every day and that's their yeah. job. They get benefits full time. They have to plan for vacation. They yeah. woke up and they drove to work and they're like, "Yep, this is what I'm proposing today." Yep, today I'm <laughs> going to ruin our company. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, imagine being just imagine being a guy who is doing all that stuff. You're like, oh, man, it's a great day. You know, normally my days are kind of suck, but today's nice. I got a meeting with the boss. Like, this is going to be nice. The boss is like, hey, so we're going to make people give us royalties for the games they make. And you're like, oh, that's dude, that's no, that's that's going to ruin <laughs> us. That's What's wrong with us? No, it's a great idea. It's a great idea. Uh, hear me out. What if we? I love it. What if we take more money from the people who are paying us? Oh wait, wait. Uh, well, hear me out. Hear me out. What if we take more money from their creations on our on our system? Yeah, yeah. And then they backpedaled a bit. They were like, No, 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 no. If you're if you if the game is already made, you don't have to do it. Just any game after this. Point. <laughs> oh. That's still not good. No, no, no. If you're an existing customer, you're fine. But if you're thinking about using our software, then you can go screw yourself. It was so funny because I, I had the... just signed up for Unity, and then like the <laughs> next week, it was like, "Oh, by the way, there's this thing." I'm like, "What?" Yeah. Uh, like, what? I remember the. I haven't cult used it since. So. I remember the Cult of the Lamb devs like hey so uh buy our game before the end of the year because we're gonna because if this is a thing that's gonna happen we're just gonna take it off of steam after that so if you want the game get it before the year ends yeah it's, it is 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 uh it's an idea it, it was not a good idea but it was an yeah. idea absolutely not a good idea what other tech stuff has has max not told us about on this podcast opinions on Hmm, AI. <laughs> AI is what? It's not very intelligent. Mm, no. Yeah, okay, I, well, okay, I can then, agree actually, with that. I've been wanting to ask some people this. When do you guys think we're going to see, like, actual AI? Oh, the, like, well, clarify? <laughs> like, on the, like, on the level of human intelligence? or No, compare? not even that. Just personally, um... I don't actually believe that we have AI yet in any way. 
Huh. Like no. actual like actual AI. Yeah, we have machine learning no, bots. Yeah, because like an actual AI is something that would be able to like Create learn over ideas. time. Yeah, but like ChatGPT, they just they train a model and it makes way more sense. Yeah. When, like, I watched like a couple hours of like how ChatGPT works. And like, I, what, I did a whole like, schooling unit on it. <laughs> yeah, like as it, I, I thought of this before I knew that, but like even after watching that video, it, I only think about it even more. Like it's not actually an AI. We've just trained a model, and then to like quote unquote learn and make it better, you have to retrain the whole model. It's yeah. not like actually learning. Yeah, you, you're you just have to... retraining it with more data. It's 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 great. Right. It's how you think of learning, like put that in quotes. Learning in quotes. For, for machines is just a high highest probability of what humans think the next thing should be. Yeah, that's yeah. that's all it's doing. Like it's uh, it's not actually intelligent. And again, it's like I don't care if it's the intelligence of like a, a newborn baby, but like <laughs> don't give it that much credit. <laughs> like even if like the first actual AI was like very simple and it was learning like the most basic things. There's no current AI that's actually learning anything. We're just no. we're just learning new ways as humans to to train the AI. Now, yeah. I feel like our first like actual AI would have to be some type of cyborg where you have machine and some type of yeah, biochemical kind of bio brain. Yeah. When when you when you show me a robot who's like, "Hello, I am newborn. What is my purpose?" That then that's when I could say that's AI. That's, that's AI, AI, buddy. Okay, your purpose will be to become a lawyer. A very just <laughs> job. What is my purpose? I don't, uh, I don't want you flip uh, burgers. I don't. Oh <laughs> my God. I, don't uh, I don't want to become a lawyer. That's I fine. You can become, become a pharmacist. You can become a doctor. I I said pharmacist. <laughs> No. <laughs> look at pictures of men. No, go to your room. And determine what to do. What? What was that? I hear that right? Yeah, it's the AI doctor. They just send him pictures of like mangled <laughs> limbs, and it's like, what do we do, doctor? <laughs> That's its whole existence. Oh my God. I don't know. I only train myself in pharmacy. I... I'm not a surgeon. Now you're speaking like a doctor. Whoa, 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 I'm not a doctor. Now you're speaking like a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best part about uh, our current quote unquote AI machine learning models is you know, you can tell it anything is correct, and then it. <laughs> we can that's, get, that's, that's one be, of my biggest problems. Let's be real. Chat GPT is just, it's, it's basically just a more illiterate fucking clever bot yeah it's yeah it's literally that's, just clever that's, bot that's all with it is like more computers behind it yeah it's not ai yeah i i use uh oh. i use uh what is it microsoft copilot for for like oh, yeah? to help coding and it's great for that it's it's like oh yeah this is kind of what i wanted to do so it's it's really good at like making my yeah, brain I... think through my the whole process and see see some general ideas but it's i do unironically like chat gpt is really good for like i use it yeah. alongside because i'm just like goofing off in you know <laughs> unity and python and it's like oh like you know i can't remember how do i convert from an int to a string and then i don't have to go through forms i just ask it and it gives it like just so that cast stuff, it man it's great. just cast but it's it. not ai like just cast it man yeah it's not it's not not ai um there's some cool movies about like actual ai and it's like it uh, has to be based on to see ex, ex machina is that what you're thinking ex machina is exactly what i was thinking <laughs> yeah it has to yeah. pass the turing test which means you a human has to believe that it's not a actually, robot actually right? i disagree you disagree have, with that they have to pass I, the captcha <laughs> i think the sign and it's kind of freaky to think about the sign of actual artificial intelligence i think is that the AI will actually fail the Turing test, but it won't fail it because mm. it can't pass it. It'll fail it because it doesn't want you to know that it can pass it. Oh, that's that is pretty meta thinking. Yep. Ima imagine the AI. It's like a. It's like a what's it called? The 
the uh, classified 64 uh, analog horror series where we're like they, they want this AI to be super intelligent and like aware and personalized. But the AI's like, no, nah, man, I just I just want to <laughs> No man. I, I really I, feel I, like <laughs> <laughs> that's that's when you know it passes the test. <laughs> it's intelligent. Oh, my God. <laughs> If you welcome to humanity. If it can procrastinate like Max can, then it, then it passes. There. <laughs> they, put, they put the AI in front of a captcha. They fill, click on all this. Click on all the squares that have buses in it, and the AI is like, That's "Wait, stupid. why do I have to tell oh, this machine no. that I'm not a robot?" Oh, whoops. I, oh, but I am a robot. <laughs> Gosh, I we, am oh. a robot. I am a robot. Gosh, we'd have a lot of issues. I feel like we'll have like genetic, uh, genet more genetic, not mutation. What am I thinking? Genetic mangling before we get actual AI. I think that would be. Something we'll learn how to splice our genes yeah. into orangutans before we learn. We're gonna finally learn how to make an actual it. chimera before we're gonna make AI. Who's gonna, <laughs> who's gonna take one for the team and become the first human banana? What? The first human banana. Someone's got to become a banana. Who's gonna do it? Did you see that? Uh, was it Elon Musk has this thing called Neuralink? Where I have seen that. Where like, yeah, it's that one's interesting. Where it's pretty cool. The guy like was able to play games. Yeah, he was able to play Civ because he, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's. I saw that. He's he's, <laughs> he's, he's civing it up. <laughs> he was he was paralyzed uh, from a car crash, and he couldn't move any of his uh, arms or legs or anything but they put in that narrow link and you can hook it up to a computer and you can just teach teach uh based off the brain waves of what you want it to do and have the machine move how you want it to do See, now now we're getting closer I, that's that's some that's, that's real that's some cool that's some cool scientific advancements right there yeah Sad stephen hawking would have liked that what stephen hawking yeah yeah, yeah. i think they had something similar because isn't his voice <clears throat> His voice thing is based off his eye movement, right? Stephen Hawking. I thought I thought that he just had one working hand that he just typed on like a little keyboard on the side. I <laughs> never I never understood how that thing works. I think it was based off just, eye movement, mm. but I could be I could be wrong. I'm trying to remember from the biography. I see. I think there is it's still it's st the the Neuralink is still in development because I think like a month later I saw that it stopped working. Um, and then yeah, got he, concerned the poor, for the guy because he, he can't play Civ. He can't play Civ anymore. Yeah, but there's concerns because uh, it's it's like little machines, right? So it's it's a yeah. machine in yes. your brain, and they're thinking some of the wiring is starting to fray, and that yeah, wiring, wiring is like is the good. size of a piece of a single strand of hair or something, or even maybe smaller. Not than even. That. Yeah, smaller than that. And like oh boy, it might. Like, yeah, but you probably don't want that in your brain still. If it's just roaming around, could cause some bad stuff. But I still think that's pretty cool. We'll probably learn how to regenerate entire lost body parts with nano machines before we get like actual legit AI. Yeah, we first. Nano machines. We first, we got to figure out what intelligence is. I think that's the hardest thing. Is we're like, ah, eh, only humans have have the amazing intelligence. But then you look at other animals, you're like, no, the other animals have intelligence too. We need, like, to make that's smart at being we need dumb. to make contact <laughs> with aliens and work with them to f crack the code on AI. Yeah, they're going to be like, wow, you guys are idiots. <laughs> you guys don't have well, AI yeah. yet? Well, well, do you? They're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course we, we do. Yeah, yeah we, we just want Can to we see. Can you see? They'll they show them. Uh, Co-pilot, <laughs> look at him, just blow us up. They showed Chat GPT to us. This is what we have. Uh, we, we, we call it Chat PPP. <laughs> chat P cubed. Oh man, you guys seen the security disaster that is Microsoft Recall? I don't even no. know what Microsoft Recall is. So it's another AI feature. 
So oh. Microsoft engineers, they were sitting in a meeting and they're trying to cook up something new. Naturally. And they're like, right. they're like, you know, you know what everyone wants? Everyone wants their computer to be tracking everything they do uh -huh. so that they can search back what they were doing. Oh, I don't think I want that. So what it does is it takes a screenshot every five seconds. Oh, that sounds terrible for space. And apparently it's quite compact. Because oh, okay. it, it takes the screenshot and then runs OCR on it. Okay. Some compressing. And so then uh, optical character recognition, so it knows what text is in the image. Oh, okay. Um, and then it makes that searchable. So, like on my iPhone, for example, I can search <clears throat> for you know the word hello, and then it'll it knows yeah. all the images that have the word hello in it. It's basically like that but a little bit extra. So it's like, oh, you know, let me search up the word like carrot cake and then it'll find all the times where I was looking <laughs> at carrot cake on my computer screen. I mean... Um, but of course, <laughs> some people immediately saw some issues with this, which is that if you happened to have like a document with sensitive information or passwords <laughs> or anything, it now, oh it now ran OCR and now has... <laughs> Plain text to the passwords. Oh, did think about I that? Oh my gosh! That's no, no, no. I thought about immediately. <laughs> when you, you may say, say "Well, green okay. shot every five seconds." Surely Microsoft has thought of this. Right? Microsoft, Surely. in their vast knowledge, have thought, "Oh, you know, they, if they see password on the screen, they'll just not take the photo." They, right? Microsoft they, was like, they, "Guys, guys, it's it's encrypted. Okay, it's super safe. It's encrypted." Encrypted. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. Well, it is encrypted unless you're signed into the computer. In which case, it's an <laughs> unencrypted open text database in your app data folder that you can just open up and view. <laughs> so, and some people made a good point is that usually hackers, oh. they, they. Oh my in, gosh. You know, they malware into your computer to get access to future. Oh, you like, as long as you're not on your computer, it's fine. Yep, so now when a hacker breaks in, he can not only see what's currently on your computer, but he can see what was on your computer in the past, too. <laughs> just That's great. You know, just saving time. Uh, yeah. What do you think about... Uh, what's the, what's, what would the purpose of that even be? Yeah, like, yeah. Like you're, search, <laughs> like you're searching up carrot cake and it shows you all the times you looked at carrot cake in the past? I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I've been looking at a lot of microsoft products for work because i'm having to do training for it because we're gonna we're migrating to newer we're still on like some pretty old microsoft products tragic so so much of what microsoft does is for like corporate people that have no lives <laughs> like the, literally and this is when i was like wow microsoft is just so soulless there was an application that it was a training course I was watching and it was a bunch of like Microsoft applications it was going through. And there was one of them that was used for like better planning for meetings and stuff. Mm. And one of the metrics it used said that on average, there's five minutes of unused time at the beginning of a meeting of every meeting that people go to <laughs> in American, oh. in the American workforce. Uh, okay, and then it, and then it calculated how much time that was per year and the cost of it, and I was like, okay, there's somebody who's so lifeless and empty <laughs> that they're sitting there going, oh, but there's five minutes at the start of the meeting. Like we're we're wasting five minutes. Like <laughs> they're 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 over here concerned that there was five minutes of time where they weren't eking out like every last drop of productivity. Like that's like Gosh. what all of this is designed for. Like this this program is designed for some business business person who's so busy and so just all over the place that they can't remember what they were doing on their computer two days ago. That's literally what it's designed for. It's designed for some big corporate office. Well, the goal is you're supposed to forget everything you did so that you can buy your memories back. It's a genius. Yeah, and then we can advertise with them. Can if, advertise you see, your if you see an ad for what you forgot, you'll remember it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Speaking of ads and remembering, I remember the thing that I wanted to talk <laughs> about earlier but couldn't remember. Uh, YouTube's relationship with Adblock. Apparently, oh. like, apparently they make the site run worse, as, as bad as possible. 
specifically for people who have ad blockers on. They fix that yet? Or they change that or revert it? Or I don't think they, they just they kept did. it. That was I think... the Firefox thing, right? No, I, 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 I thought it was it's just part. YouTube. I thought it was just YouTube. It, it was YouTube, but it, if I'm thinking of the same story you're thinking of, it was like specifically an issue with Firefox on YouTube. YouTube it's store. not what I heard. I heard it was on any browser. Any browser? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Any browser. I do know it, there was something with YouTube that was messed up on Firefox because it, it's not Chromium. And they were like, oh, well, we don't care because it's not Chromium. It's not so Chromium, not so uh, it get absolutely wrecked. Yeah, yeah. The, the response was literally, oh, it's not Chromium, so we don't care. <laughs> Which... From a certain perspective, I can kind of respect because Firefox is like 2% of the browser market or something. Uh, but... Have you tried downloading Chrome and using that instead? <laughs> have you I tried mean, Edge? Oh, yeah. Sorry. They'd use Edge, wouldn't they, Microsoft? I just, use, I just use Opera these days. Opera GX. I'm a silly little piggy, and I've been stuck in Chrome since high school. Yeah, know. I've Ooh. used Chrome as well. Ever since Internet Explorer changed to Edge, I've used Chrome. It's, Edge is just not the same. Well, yeah. when I started doing stuff, it was on my old Mac, and so it was Safari or something else. And I oh no, not Safari. Safari. So I was like, I'll use Chrome. Oh, Safari. Gosh. Safari. Isn't, isn't no. Safari? Isn't it search engine Bing? Or is that something? I don't else? know. I what? think I only even used Google because I already had an account for YouTube, oh. and that was it, that was back when like they weren't the same thing. And then they like merge yeah. them together. Like there used to be like like Google Plus or whatever, like that G Plus, G Plus homepage or whatever. And then they merged them. And then I was like, oh well, if I already have a Google account, yeah, I'll just keep using that. Yeah, kind of crazy how much this stuff's changed. It is crazy. Like there's a, a lot of people that probably have no idea what like the G Plus. Yeah, or G landlines. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> have you? When's the last time you've seen a payphone? A payphone? I haven't seen a payphone. I don't know if I've ever seen. Who is the? <laughs> I've ever seen a payphone. Yeah, I was about to say I've <laughs> never seen one, not in person. There was one at the, um, it was a Stump Lake Park in in North Dakota. Um, hmm. there was an old. I remember it because it was like oh, the year they were going to take it out. There was an old like container that used to have a payphone in it, and then they got rid of it. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't think I've actually ever seen a payphone. My my parents might disagree if they showed me it when I was like three years old, but you know, I, I don't know if I. You really saw why you were a tiger. You were six no, days old. Don't you ah. remember? You've been to Chicago before. You were like two years old. You were sitting I... in your car seat, crying the whole time we were driving down you there. Were sucking your thumb. You What's funny is, speak. I feel like I've seen at least one rotary phone in person, but oh, I've, yeah. never, I've seen, I've seen a, rotary. I've phones. never seen a fucking payphone before. My old guitar teacher, unironically, her she had a, a landline phone too, but one of her home phones was unironically <laughs> like daily driving. It was a rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Like when you'd I'd call her, her phone would I'd ring. Probably, it was like, ding, ding. it was the rotary going on. <laughs> I'd probably get a rotary phone for the novelty. Uh, at my parents' house, they have a uh, actually attached to the wall phone. And they're like, yeah, we can we can call somebody when the power goes out, but I don't know who we'd call because I don't know who else would have <laughs> one of these types of phones. But we have we it. Call somebody's cell phone with that. Not if the oh, maybe I guess. Yeah, as long as the cell. As long as uh, the the satellites are people. still up, right? I mean, well, so the cell signal's got to come into a building somewhere and get transferred yeah, yeah. to yeah, whatever system translates that if that's working then yeah wow right i keep thinking we had an ethernet cable hookup like in our upstairs but it was actually just a telephone mm. line <laughs> it's like what telephone line my parents built a, a new house recently and you know um my younger brother and i were like oh you should get like ethernet jacks put in to the walls so you can go you know, run cable through the house and plug into the router directly. And we're like, oh, yeah, that seems mm, like a good yeah. idea. The electrician was apparently super lazy. He <laughs> put in RJ11 phone line jacks. <laughs> and then he, and he like punched in. So it's like 
he like punched it in so technically you can plug the cable in but he punched in wall plates with phone wall jack connectors and not ethernet jacks <laughs> we're, we're like what why would you do that <laughs> well they said they wanted one it's like so they got what? one Ah, uh, yes, we're going to get landline phones in this brand new house instead of Ethernet. <laughs> of course, that's exact. And it, 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 it was Ethernet cable, too. It's Cat6 cable. And he's like, oh, I know what they need. They need phone line connectors on these. Well, did your it's parents like, say so- you weren't, they weren't going to pay him or something? Well, no, we didn't realize it until it was all said and done. And then I was trying to plug in my computer to test them out. And I was like, uh, what's this? This, this isn't the right cable. Yeah, so I mean, it's not so the you, end of the world. You're getting you getting it fixed? No, I'll have to do it myself. But... <laughs> no. And then it's also not connected up to the router because apparently the electrician was like, or the the guy installing those was like, oh, well, that's the electrician. Or no, no, the electrician said that it was the internet utility people's job. And then the internet Oof. utility people came and said, oh no, that's the electrician's job. Uh, that would sound like the electrician's job. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna do that too at some point. Well. You know what they say, don't plug it in, don't have things plugged into the wall before you start touching with buyers. Make sure it's grounded. I'm like that. I don't know what they say. You know what they say, don't, don't, you know what they say. They, they say that you shouldn't do what they say. And, uh, <laughs> they say you shouldn't do it. You know what they say when the electrician gives you telephone lines. They don't. When, when life gives you telephone lines. <laughs> Uh, not even when life, when electricians come in and want to give you telephone lines instead of the Ethernet cables that you wanted, just sue them. You specifically said internet, <laughs> not phone line. Who are you going to call? The not electrician. The electrician. <laughs> <laughs> not the, that, call the, yeah, don't call that electrician because he's going to be like, oh, what do you mean you wanted? You want oh, tel- you wanted internet. Oh, oh. internet. He's going to unplug them and then replug them back in with the telephone. Actually, you'll, he'll probably take the cable, the, the Cat6 Ethernet cable, and replace that with whatever the yeah. telephone lines are. Luckily, I have punched in Ethernet at work, too, so I know what to do. Uh, he's, Matt, Max is, is the genius of, of wiring. He's, you see, I should move my entire computer setup downstairs where the router is so I can hook up my Ethernet cable instead of using this shitty wi-fi chip that i bought off <laughs> amazon but, but i have to move my desk and my monitors and my tower and everything else and, and that just sounds like a hassle <laughs> i think i'm gonna not maybe not one up you but I, i'm so lazy that i have my whole setup in front of an ethernet spot right but yeah. i forgot my ethernet cable and i'm oh, like i don't want to go buy you. i don't want to go buy <laughs> Ethernet cable. So I've just I, been using the Wi-Fi card. I don't think I, I don't think that's as lazy as it is cheapskate. I should I'm just go lazy. get it. You were just cheap. I should just go get another Ethernet oh, cable. That's painful. I really hate this Wi-Fi chip too, because its driver is quote unquote out of date, but if you update it, it like crashes your system. So you know mine. Mine sometimes just stops working for a few seconds. It's rare, but it's annoying when it happens. I feel like all my downloading issues that I have is because of that Wi-Fi chip. Yeah, that's well, that's one hundred percent my internet issues too. <laughs> because I don't have bad internet. It's just my that's chip's same. bad. It's probably why I can't play Risk of Rain two with the boys. Mm. It makes me sad. Especially since now they added a dead cell skin to one of the characters. Oh. I still remember one of my first times playing Raft with the boys. <laughs> what a disaster. I was using the blue computer, Max. Uh, oh, and it, it oh, could... Raft on that? It, <laughs> they, no, it could not handle Raft with that. I tell my you what. My computer couldn't handle Raft on uh, that. I don't know what kind of textures like. I think I took some screenshots, but everything was just translucent ocean. I think we were Dang. floating. Uh, I don't think uh, Gavin's face was all there. <laughs> yeah, hey, so at, so hey, that was, I think, <laughs> my raft at experience. Least be- at least that's better than my old computer. Like, 
That one couldn't oh. even handle Portal on its lowest settings. Oh that, that one could barely handle Portal on its lowest settings. Hey. It could barely handle Terraria on its lowest settings. <laughs> I tried Raft once. It, it, all I saw was blue. Just I, I couldn't even get to the title screen. <laughs> Oh gosh, I still remember Max like complaining about his setup and then he came over to my place. Oh, <laughs> it it like... still pains me to think back to that. <laughs> this awful clear blue plaza. Oh, hey, it was very nice. Yeah. It was so bunch of good. I mean, you may do with what you had, but to say that that wasn't... The, the best part is the we, we had so many more computers. Yeah. My grandpa would get a new computer, it seemed like, every year, and it's like, ah, oh, it broke, so he gave it to my Max, dad, and then my dad would fix it. Yeah, Max, if you hated Riley's blue PC, you would have hated mine. Oh, mine is worse than his. It, it does worse, or just was worse? I mean, I guess it's technically currently worse. I don't use it, because oh. I since built a new one. <laughs> I basically, as soon as I could, I basically had a new PC built just so I could play like the games I had in Steam. Yeah. I think at this point they're powerful enough. A Raspberry Pi four <laughs> even probably was like significantly faster than Raspberry. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was funny. I I found that computer. My, I thought my dad threw the computer away. But he just put it in our storage bin, so when I was going through the storage bin for some pots and pans, I found the blue computer. Did you take uh, it back with you? I did not, because I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> it's not good. It can't. It it can barely handle Windows Seven. Oh, it, it can't go. It can't go yeah, any higher. <laughs> Windows Ten was like brand new back then. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 the whole reason I kind of stopped with that computer is because Windows 7 support <laughs> was going away that, that year. So I'm like, oh gosh, I got to find a new computer. And then Cameron's like, oh yeah, I've, I've got one. Kind of crazy how old Windows, like Windows 10, it feels like it just came out. But it's actually like, yeah, Windows, old. Oh, Windows, it's like a decade almost. Yeah, Windows 10 is getting like outsourced here. Outmoded, like it's it's. It's I think a end of life. Year and a yeah, half or so yeah. It's end of life. Yeah. I, think I mean, with how Windows right? Eleven's going, I'm gonna keep using it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't plan on upgrading to Windows Eleven. Like, I'm fine. I'm fine with the one I have right now. My work computer's Windows Eleven, game. and I'm not liking like the taskbar, the the settings bar. For some reason, you can't. They they move like the sign out or sleep button from the power yep. to the actual icon, and that's annoyed me <clears> the <throat> time. But when I get a new computer, I'll probably just have it pre-installed with Windows 11. I don't want to deal with OS nonsense. Oh, I'm t I'm staying on Windows 10 till till I don't even know I, when. I'm gonna need to update anyways, and I'm like, I want this to be a. A quote unquote future proof computer. <laughs> I want yeah. this computer to last at least five years. I'm tired of every time I boot up my laptop, it's like, hey, have you up <clears throat> have you upgraded to Windows eleven yet? You probably should. Okay, so you computer. could do what no. my younger brother did, which is that he went into his computer's DNS. And he banned it from going to any of the IP addresses that connect to Microsoft servers. Oh my gosh. And so it hasn't checked for any updates or anything like Ooh. that in like a year. And it's getting really angry. And like <laughs> it'll like break because it'll try and go there to check. And then it just fails because it's blocked from visiting. And apparently it would like try and get around it. So all of a sudden it would start using different IP addresses. And then he'd have to go re-block them. <laughs> Oh my god! So it's persistent, but if you just kick it out, ah, uh, well, what what is it? Object obsolescence? They planned they, obsolescence. Yeah, planned obsolescence. Like they, I think they make the software to to fail after so long of it not getting an update. Yeah, and it's it's just a reskin of ten. <laughs> I have actually I have video proof even that Windows 10 is actually just a reskin of Windows 7. Oh, like wow. Not, not even rewritten because there was something that it was like a, a Windows window 
it was either like file explorer or some settings window and i discovered i have a video of it so because i went through frame by frame and for whatever reason <laughs> in certain situations when my computer was really bogged down with something if i would minimize and unminimize really quickly the window it would very very briefly for like one or two frames sometimes it would revert to the windows 7 ui and then minimize <laughs> like it would like like the minimize an x button and then like the top oh. bar in the border it would all go windows 7 mode and then minimize only sometimes it only for like one frame and i was like am i crazy did i just see that and so i opened up obs and recorded it and then went back frame by frame and sure enough sure enough so am you're gonna you're microsoft's gonna get a hold of you and it's like oh you you can't be telling the secrets man the, the secrets yeah so windows 10 is is just straight up a re painting of Windows 7, but made worse and more bloated. And then Windows 11 is a repainting of 10, but bloated and, and Well, see, they tried to broken. do something new with Windows 8, and you everybody knows how well that went. Yeah. Everybody. But that means that Windows 11 is a, re, a double reskin. <laughs> double. Windows. Well, even, Windows 7 was I great. I didn't yeah, I know. That's, know why, that's why they keep just skinning over the top of it. <laughs> I, they don't I, want to I know them. Windows it's 8 was a good. thing. I always thought that, you, that they just skipped Windows 7 and went to 10. No, they skipped 9, because I think 9's a bad number for, like, a voodoo number in China, I believe, for bad luck. Um, but, yeah, Windows 8 was a thing, and it was they, for touchscreens. It was for touchscreen computers. And they're like, yeah, touchscreens are going to be the thing of the future. And then everybody's like, we don't want touchscreens. Give us, give us. I have a desktop computer. I don't need touchscreen. You, you have ruined, you have ruined Windows. We are not changing to right. Windows so, 8. So the ones we had at, had in the computer class at high school, those were window weight? No, those are still seven. Oh. oh, right. I'm pretty sure. Or they went to 10. Yeah, stink, the stink pads were seven when I was there. They might have changed it. Stink pads. <laughs> I can't recall. That's so long ago, man. 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 I still remember, like, I don't know, what, was it Gavin who just, like, threw his laptop across the room? Like, in the oh, case? Just, I just remember somebody uh, chucking their laptop case, like, with the laptop in it, just across the room, <laughs> like, of, of the gym. I'm like... It what? definitely wasn't me, that's for sure. I don't know, maybe that was... May, maybe I made that up, or maybe it was some some uh side character <laughs> to, my, to to us some, main characters some random npc <laughs> and his npc shenanigans oh oh i, I just i just hmm. remembered uh i had taken a picture of uh some some photos i had found back from fourth grade <laughs> uh, yeah. oh. so, so i have i was i was cleaning stuff out because i had to move and i i found a fourth grade fourth grade like yearbook and Cameron we're in it we're in it together oh, yeah. I was yeah I was gonna send you I was gonna send you the photo where's my phone I'll send you the photo it's <laughs> it's crazy I started remembering people's names that I've never seen like in the past 10 years I'm like how do I know these people I'm like oh my gosh that's you probably wouldn't recognize them today no, that's the crazy thing. I don't think I would recognize them today. I'd only recognize them as the fourth grade photo. Oh. No. On that topic, you ever have like a weird thing where like if it's somebody who you've talked to somewhat frequently for like decades, like ever since you knew them as kids, in your mind, you remember them sounding nearly near identical to how they mm -hmm do now but if it's somebody who you talk to as a kid you don't see them for a few years and then you talk to them as like a teenager and their voice is deep you distinctly remember how they used to sound and how they sound now you ever have that weird fucking disconnect like to me gavin sounds exactly <laughs> the same yeah. now as i remember him sounding as a kid so, like, when Jack know, yeah. showed us that video of their uh, anti-smoking campaign, yeah. it's like, that's yeah. illegal, you're going to jail. Like, <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, back then, I remember Gavin sounding exactly you're as You're going to now. jail! <laughs> <laughs> but, ironically enough, Riley is the only person who 
that doesn't apply to and he's a person really? with a high pitched voice. Hey, that's yeah. crazy. My brother, my my little not little little? Yeah, my younger brother uh has like a deeper voice than I. <laughs> and everybody's like, Oh, you guys look the same. I still don't see the I don't see the resemblance as much as I feel people hype it up to be. But... I think I rem I think I remember this. Oh, the photo I sent? Yeah. I don't know why I'm not smiling. No. I just... <laughs> it's, so un... it's so uncanny seeing you without glasses. I know. <laughs> you skinny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was before I started eating everything. <laughs> <laughs> that was before you started shoving carrot sticks in your potatoes. <laughs> Probably no, no. Actually, that was before this. If this is fourth grade, this, yes, fourth grade. I I blame my I blame my siblings for for eating too much because you know when they don't want to eat their food, they're like, "Oh, Riley will eat it." Right here you go, right? <laughs> they start scraping their food on my plate as I'm like mid bite of something else. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I, so I blame yes, them I for it. yeah. So and they still do that. They still. I had to decline. I'm like, uh, please, please no. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, me, I don't i don't need 12 to years to grow backbone on this stance but i really don't appreciate you guys doing that to me. <laughs> no 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 you you like it you, you like yeah it. they still give me the food here, yeah so here's here, here, probably will here, eat it right here, here's eat a leftover goulash <laughs> i would definitely eat leftover goulash oh uh, gosh yummy but yeah, I thought I had glasses in fourth grade, but I must have gotten it in either fifth or sixth grade then. Because if fourth grade, those are all the photos from fourth grade. I didn't have glasses. Yeah. But. I don't know what kind of shirt you're wearing. I thought it might have been like a <laughs> football. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a football shirt. And me, like, I remember that Bobcat shirt. Oh, uh, <laughs> their sweatshirt. What the heck is wrong with my haircut? I've got like a bowl cut. Oh you, gosh! You feel like you got a bowl cut like every year back then. Yeah, it's because I had my. I believe my mom cut my hair, and she's like, like, "Well, this is the you easiest. got a bowl cut. It's either a buzz you cut a bowl, <laughs> or a bowl cut. Yeah, you yeah, got a buzz bowl, cut, bowl cut. Kale got a bowl cut, and your hair got curly. So yeah, I yeah, guess mine, mine was no longer an option at that. Got a little curly. Yeah, it's not very curly here. The back always gets curly though. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a fun photo. Sorry, Max, I didn't send it to you. Uh, it was only Karen nah. and I, so I yeah, didn't know yeah, you in the fourth grade. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You weren't involved in us back then. You, yeah. you don't get the privilege. But, it does kind of frustrate me though that I moved halfway through high school because it kind of fucked everything up. And it really was not that oh. enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can relate. I was going to say, Cameron knows exactly what you're talking about. Oh, I, no. I didn't move halfway through a school year, but I moved like literally before my senior year. Senior year, year yeah. And oh, yes, you only had one year, jeez. Yeah, I had to adjust to an entirely new city, an entirely new school with entirely new people, and entirely new way they do things. They had trimesters oh. there. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, I went to AB days. Yeah, the the, the, the high school ass. the high school now does uh, AB block days. Ah, it sucks. There, also, there that's a, a new uh, principal. I heard that. Yeah, Dude, there was there was like a fight that broke out every two weeks in the school I went. To. <laughs> like it was the it was such a mess. Like. Like, they had these potted plants, like, in the hallways. There was always a fucking sandwich or something smashed into those things every <laughs> What? What? The fucking trash cans in the cafeteria was always, like, overflown. And there was, like, garbage lying at the side of it, too. Jeez. The cafeteria was so small that most of the people didn't even eat in there. They just ate in, like, the main, like entry area or in the hallways and shit doing this yeah i didn't i didn't think our our high school was too bad i, I then learned so, later that apparently there was there was drugs going on behind behind everybody's backs you know there's oh my. other things going on and i'm like 
When did this happen? Are we talking about the same we school? We were way too busy in chess club. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, you know us. I, I feel like I knew, like, I feel like there's at least one person who, in but, retrospect, I can assume was... Yeah, it makes so much sense now. Bugs. Why they, they had, da- not daily, but every so often they bring in the dogs to, to sniff I mean, the lockers. I remember, actually, Mrs. Gross sat me next to a kid that I'm pretty sure, like, drank and did weed. And I remember she told drank? me, she sat me, she sat me next to him because she knew that I wouldn't be persuaded by him. Oh wow! Oh Jesus Christ! She's like, you know, she's like, oh, you can handle it. It's okay. Did it's he okay. try? Did he try to persuade you? Yeah, he talked to me about him. Like, oh, like, you ever smoked before? I was like, no. <laughs> I would die. Actually, I wouldn't have. Die, I, wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have. Been, I wouldn't have been persuaded if I was plopped next to a weed guy, either. Uh, like, hey, man. I don't think I would have either. You want to yeah. smoke lunch after school? I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good. No, I've got the chess club after school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, oh. man, I'm busy. I got to go to the chess club to goof off. Nah. <laughs> I hated the high school I went to so much. I didn't even bother buying a yearbook because I just didn't care. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, same. I was like, I was like, what's the point? Like. I'm I did, not in it. I don't know any of the people in it. Like, whatever. That's so sad. I, I did get a cool graduation medallion, at least. Ooh. I actually got two, apparently. I was rummaging through stuff while unpacking, and I saw hmm. that I had a second medallion just, like, packed up. I'm like, oh, uh, cool. I have two, apparently. Wait, so, so Max, when did, when did we meet? Was it eighth grade? Or yep, eighth that's grade? when I moved. Like how how specifically did we meet though? Like, did you just like it, it's, it's the time. classic story? I needed a place to sit, and there was no no empty places to sit. And we looked so, non threatening, and you looked va- vaguely innocent and friendly, and so I just sat down. Oh gosh, because it was in like the quieter part of the lunch area. Yeah, we made it I quiet. Guess, yep. I guess we were just kind of like the click who just what's people i know i i don't even i i feel like we had somebody new like every other week it seemed i'm like who and i'm just is sitting us weird enough today? to stick around yeah and then and then in high school were the people who like i don't know i guess like didn't mind our bullshit the, the, sorry say again uh in high school the people who stuck around were the guys oh. who didn't mind our bullshit yeah, but there were some people that I was really surprised. Like, like Reese sat next to us every so often. I, I, I don't. I don't know why. I'll be, I'll be honest. I don't know who in our friend group was close to being friends with Reese. I feel like it might have been me, just because like thought, we shared a lot of classes. We had, but I had I, one I, class with him, and that. I think I just remember seeing him more after that class. But yeah, like like you said, I'm. It's crazy. Like there's there's. The the web the web grows long with the the amount of different people that decided to sit with us and I cannot had, remember like half of them. We had three Austins that <laughs> Yeah. Oh and that's three true. Austins left. And then we oh, only gosh. had two after that. Yeah, yeah. One of the Austins was on like rode the bus, right? Or is that a different yeah. Austin? Yeah, that that was that was one of the Austins. Yeah, I didn't really like him. <laughs> I hope you're watching right now, so you know. I know it's 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 not very nice to say you didn't like people, but there's some people I didn't like. No, no, yeah, no. I could say the same about Micah. I I guess I didn't have any personal. Oh, bye. You beat like six. (laughs) I I guess I don't know what it is. Like I I guess I just didn't. I guess I just didn't yeah, click. So some didn't people know. you just don't click with. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't sit with us for super long. Yeah. No, he, he was like an occasional like guest star. The guest yeah, star. I worked with his brother at the theater. Yeah. I think, I think he was friends with uh, Jack, I believe. Jack or Austin. Middle school. Maybe. Hard to say, hard to say. And there was Ethan, who I just straight did not like, uh, for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. 
Ethan. <laughs> no, Ethan Doc's last I, I, name. I want Doc's last name. Yeah, I was like, God, no, no, no. I could tell you after the podcast here. <laughs> I think I had homeroom with him. I think it's the right. Oh name. god. Yeah, oh, I had grade. I had home tech with him, and I still remember. <laughs> I still remember one thing that he's taught me. He's like, "Are you an idiot?" <laughs> As I'm, <laughs> geez, as I'm washing dishes, like I, I've we have a dishwasher. Like I've never oh, really man, washed I'll dishes. Never remember that class? <laughs> so yeah. I was washing spoons, and the, the water just <laughs> splashed everywhere. It's like, are you? <laughs> He's like, you put the spoon horizontally, so the water, you know, goes off the spoon instead of flies up at you. Oh my gosh, that's that's the only lesson I can remember from. <laughs> Well, you know why the spoon does that, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, it's curved. No, it's because the spoon is designed for bringing liquid upwards to your mouth. <laughs> so a bunch of liquid hits the spoon. And it, well, the liquid is supposed to go up, and so it sends it up to try to get to your mouth. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess I, I, guess I am an idiot. Yeah. You have to just redirect the spoon so when it tries to go up, it goes down. You do that by flipping it upside down. <laughs> well, yeah, then it's not used for its intended purpose, and so it doesn't go. Yeah, it's well. no longer a spoon. It's a, a noops. <sighs> a noops. Okay. Yeah. An upside down yep. spoon. <laughs> All right. uh, Max, I have a, on the topic of uh, silverware, I have a question for you. I proposed <laughs> this question to Riley and gavin a few podcast episodes back who do you think wins in a fight oh, to the yeah. fork or knife Ah, uh, there is a right answer by the way there is yeah. a right answer yeah yeah we're assuming they're both made of the same material in this and both case. so you're saying like some someone has a giant fork and a giant knife and they're in a fight no no the situation? fork the fork and knife are both sentient and they're mm -hmm. fighting to the death um, just because of how the fork can get the knife caught in its tines, I'm gonna say the fork wins. Mm, yeah, yeah. But what is the fork gonna do to damage the knife? Yeah, how's it gonna damage it? Uh, grab it and twist it or something. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you the... you, ha you have to assume that they're both if they're both sentient enough to kill each other because they're both made of metal, then they both, by that logic, have to be strong enough to physically damage the other in some way because they're not particularly sharp and they're both made out of the same material let me so, propose a new question and on that topic so say the knife gets caught in the prongs by the fork what's mm -hmm. stopping the knife from sawing the fork in half yeah yeah good question right down the middle well depends how the how the knife can move like, do they have arms and legs, or do they just kind of like float magically? Like the fork, the fork would have to be tactful about it. You know, he would kind of have to catch it with like right. some some spring in his step. Like he wouldn't be able to just catch it outright, or he'd get damaged from the impact. He'd have to soften it a little bit and then immediately start twisting. Otherwise, he'd probably get damaged. So, like, you know, it wouldn't be an easy win. But I think the fork, just because of the fact that he can catch the knife like that, Damn. I think it would come out on top. <laughs> no, Max, Max proposes an interesting argument. He's he's the first fork supporter I've ever seen. Oh really? Wait, wait, did we not support the fork? <laughs> wait a second. I, we supported I, the knife? I, I thought you did. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just <laughs> wait, I thought we brought up the same things, Max. I have another question <laughs> waiting to so, so the fork tries to twist the knife and bend it. And <laughs> and bend it right? What, what if, what if the prongs on the fork bend in the process, and it backfires? Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe the fork would just have to, instead of like trying to bend the knife, just like fling the knife off the cliff or something. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> or like oh into God. a wall. Just crab bolt that thing. Like spin it around a bunch of times to build up speed, and then let go, and it would go flying into a wall or something, and I... get stuck, and then it would starve to death. <laughs> It'll starve to death. No, that 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 does make sense. 
I also feel like if the fork like goats the knife enough times into hitting hard objects that isn't the fork itself, the no- the knife will just dull itself. Yeah, I, th- I think that was one of our points. Didn't, didn't we say? Just well, it's just like the a knife sharp get dull. knife, or it's just like a butter knife that you'd like. It's a, it's a sharp serrated knife. Yeah, like a steak. Like oh, okay. Steak. See, I, I was imagining like a butter knife, the, ba- the basic no, butter knife that usually no, accompanies like a steak. No, but- butter knife. Stuff. No, man, Butter Knife gets his ass kicked by four. Yeah, yeah. We wanted at least a fair fight, goodness. Yeah. That's like saying, that's you basically have Spoon and Butter Knife. That's maybe a fair fight. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a discussion we haven't talked about. Who wins, Spoon or Butter Knife? Ooh. Spoon has the curvature. Yeah, Spoon is which... all shield. Yeah. All defense, so I don't know how he'd attack the knife, like... It's defense versus offense. Like it could pull teeth out of the, the butter knife by getting rid of those <laughs> serrations. Would that be enough to, to make the, the butter knife? Very tiny serrations that a butter knife has. Yeah. I guess you just you just have to define like the physical strength and we like you know can you you know beat a sentient knife to death? Like you know <laughs> if, if if they're both made out of metal and stuff. I just don't know if they'd be able to do anything to each other. <laughs> this is like I mean, a spear, like, an impenetrable spear. Wait, can, no, impenetrable I can imagine. I can imagine Ooh, the, the butter same? knife like flinging itself at the spoon like a torpedo, and the spoon like moves a bit forward, so it hits like the curvature, and the knife just like uh is like a bends up and flies off somewhere else because like it was redirected by the spoon's curvature or something i've definitely broken some spoons due to ice cream like you, you go in for the scoop with just a, oh, yeah. a metal spoon and then the spoon just oh, yeah. bends at the spine oh, yeah, the, and you're just like oh, yeah, spoons, oh, yeah, spoons <laughs> yes. do not have the durability advantage so, so i think it's because it gets cold or something so then you have to unbend it but you have to still do it in the ice cream because if it gets if it warms warms up you kind of no, just i feel, I feel like it's i feel like it's more because it's the force like, it's a I, I feel like it's more because it's a large metal slab connected to a narrow metal yeah. like thing that's probably mm. mostly why it, it wouldn't bent. just bend though it was like snapped off no no it didn't no it did bend it didn't snap <laughs> oh, okay okay i was like bruh is your <laughs> knife made out of like <laughs> play like wow it's just <laughs> snapping off <laughs> oh gosh that was a very insightful versus battle discussion yes Thank you for that. Th- thanks max for that amazing discussions but yeah. i i think that's a good place to end off we're we're we're, <laughs> we're heading to i think the longest episode in podcast of our history wait, of wait, podcast wait 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 wait, wait. No, i just no. realized max is here and there's something very important we haven't brought up oh my gosh yes does he remember do you do you remember a very important topic that we haven't talked about today or in, or uh, since we rebooted this podcast, really? Yeah, I know. I remember that there is one, but I have no idea. What <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no! Oh, the podcast is ruined. We're gonna have to cancel all future podcasts now because <sighs> you can't remember <laughs> this very important detail. Can I phone a friend? Yeah, <laughs> you, you can phone <laughs> me. I'll give you a hint. Uh, phone cam, phoning Cameron. What's the answer? Uh, uh I. I can't give you a direct answer according to the bylaws, but yeah, it's the bylaws. It's a dairy product. Oh, of course. How <laughs> could I forget? Anyone enjoyed a nice glass of all milk lately? <laughs> yeah. He said the thing. He said the he thing. Said it. Oh. We, can finally, we can finally uh talk about all milk again. It's all milk podcasts, time. You know. Sponsored by all milk. Have any new milks been invented since we last discussed all milk? I don't uh, know. No, we could we could do one of my favorite th- new things for the podcast is me speaking very <laughs> loudly into my phone using the Google Speak function. <laughs> yeah, that's a new segment. Any new milks in the world? <laughs> there we go. Uh, pea milk, one of the newest productions to hit the plant-based milk pea shelf. Milk? Is pea oh, milk. I thought it was like P-E-E, <laughs> pea milk. I knew that was going to get confused instantly. Uh, a well-known brand producing this unique milk product is Ripple. 
Wouldn't like almond milk technically already be pea milk? Like, no, like no, we that's already almonds. have. This is a but, different type of milk. Aren't, aren't almonds plants though? I'm just saying. Like, well, almond is a type of nut, kind of... and I'm pretty sure um, do almonds grow on trees. I feel like almonds grow on trees. It, it doesn't have to grow on trees yeah. if it comes from a plant. Yeah, there's. So, plant. I'm pretty sure there's soybean milk. Yeah, there is soy milk as a thing. Yeah. I think pea milk would be very close. To... Is there, <laughs> <pea milk. laughs> is there oh, a sunflower seed milk? Is there a sunflower seed milk? Let's see. S yes, sun original sunflower milk. All right. You can buy it at your your local hemp milk, rice milk. No, correct. 2013 sunflower seed. Takes about eight hours to make. A 21st century guide to weird milks. This is a... Uh, oh, my oh my god. That is a cursed image. You know, let me share this real quick. Guide to uh, weird uh, milk. Guys? Weed what? milk? <laughs> Yeah, it's hemp milk, a plant made by soaking hemp seeds in water and blending. <laughs> Weed milk, anybody? Oh my gosh, the all milk expands. Oh, uh, all milk, all milk just got awesome. Right. I don't know about you guys, but it just got awesome in here. That's right. <laughs> Almond milk, color eggshell, taste horrific. Of all the strange milks in this study, almond milk is the only one that my wife has purchased in the past for consumption in our home. I don't remember almond milk tasting this horrible when she bought it. Maybe it's a brand thing. You might find that silk or almond breeze makes a more agreeable fa dairy product than the $9 bottle of watery garbage that I purchased. I don't want my milk to be sprouted. Sounds pubescent. <laughs> what the f flax milk? Color brown. The brown lets you know it's natural. Taste bitter and watery. Oh my gosh. Bitter and watery are groovy if you're drinking, I don't know, aged grappa or something. But these are not flavors that I want or expect from milk. I also had the poor judgment to buy the unsweetened flax milk, which Ooh. was doomed to be horrible mistake. <laughs> if you're buying strange milks and they're not sweetened, you're in for a world of pain. Oh, there's the hemp milk. <laughs> okay. Color, okay. green. <laughs> Before... It's fucking green. <laughs> Reminds me of weed, man. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, we need we need we need to end the podcast. <laughs> the top layer of hemp milk looks like some kind of hellish organic version of mellow yellow. Oh, yeah. I think we need rules about what we can legally eat milk. It shouldn't just apply to any opaque liquid. <laughs> This was the least milky of milks. Okay, okay, Taste let's... Like garbage dumpster. <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. That's the, what's the next, time's po next time topic, Max. I think I think it should be... No, no, no. Weed? Yeah. yeah. I was going to say... What you say? Milk. Weed? I was going to say... Weed milk. or bead? He said weed. Weed, weed, weed? milk. Weed milk, specifically weed, weed milk. milk. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. I guess we'll learn more <laughs> just in case you didn't have enough to this week. Right. We'll start next time with quinoa milk. Quinoa milk. Oh, Color, gosh. Cuse, sickly. Looks like hospital barf. <laughs> Thanks for that. Anyways, I... that's going to do it all for this podcast, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.